that's gonna fall out, but anyway. Uh, I ain't never in a drought. I ain't never in a drought. Uh. Good YouTube, Ziploc Domo, aka Domo Styles. I'm back with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about how long to keep your braids in your hair. Me personally, I'm not the type that'll get my hair done every two weeks, every three weeks, nothing like that. For me, I like to put a nice length of time in between getting my hair done, put a nice length of time in between washing my hair, all these different things because I've learned that within the time that I've been growing my hair, the number one thing that helps me grow my hair extremely fast is giving that time when I'm not touching my hair, I'm not combing my hair, I'm not getting my hair done, I'm not washing my hair, I'm just letting my hair be, letting it build up, just letting that new growth come in. Yeah, listen, that's called mother boss. You know nothing about that. Me personally, ideally, realistically, I try to keep my hair in at a minimum of about three to four weeks and at a maximum two to three months. It all depends on the style. Huh? This style specifically, these braids that I have in, I will probably keep this, I can probably keep this in for about two plus months. And what I would do when it gets to this point where, you know, it's bushy, things like that, I throw a hat on if I'm going outside or if I'm recording a video or something like that. Or if I wanted to freshen them up, you know, I use uh, certain products to lay it down, put my do-rag on to sleep with it or to dry it off. And then when you take it off, it's fresh. I'll drop a video on that specifically so you can see exactly what I mean. But for the most part, that's the best way to keep it up. I like to take a large portion of time in between to help my hair grow naturally. The cleaner that you keep your hair, the longer that it takes for it to grow. I'm not an expert, so I can't give you 100% justification to why that is what it is for me, but that's just what it is. I've learned that over time. If I just give my hair time and room to just breathe and do its thing, by the time I go to wash it and get it done again, I'll see inches in growth. I hope that that's something you all can take from what I'm giving you and it helps you as far as growing your hair longer, faster. If you got a hairstyle like a ponytail or something like just your hair in a regular ponytail, of course, that's not going to last long. You might be able to get about a month wear out of it before it's time for you to do something to it. But if you got it done in a way where it's just a protective style, you can cover it up or you can keep your hair maintained by wearing a do-rag or wearing a bonnet, whatever the case is. Please do that. Please give your hair that time to grow. Please give your hair that time to build up the natural dirts and things like that. And when you wash it, next time you get it done, you'll see a major, major, major growth in it. Now, to some, it may come off as, oh, this person is dirty. They're not washing their hair that often. I want you to think about this. If me and another person both began growing our hair on the exact same day, and this person washed their hair every two weeks, and I wash my hair every two months, I can guarantee you that within a year, my hair may be double the length of theirs, just off the strength that I'm giving it that time that it needs. That's with anything. If you're growing a plant, of course you wanna give it that sunlight, you wanna give it that water, but you also have to give it that time. You can't expect for a plant to grow overnight. It takes time. If you're doing things the proper way, for it to grow, it's gonna grow. Another hairstyle that doesn't have longevity is twists. When you get your hair done in twists, because they're not done in a pattern to where your hair is really locked in, they come out easily, they just get ruined a lot quicker than if you were to get braids, cornrows, things like that. Just be mindful that when you get twists, you get a ponytail, those type of hairstyles, they're not gonna last as long as if you were to get braids or plaits. However, when you get a style like twist, you can also, you know, add a little spice to it. So let's say if I was to get twists and I got them uh, very skinny, what I could do is get those twists cornrow. By me getting the twist cornrow, it prevents them from coming out. It makes them last longer. It makes them look better. Once it's time for me to take those twisted cornrows out, huh? then I got crinkly twists. So 
You just went from having one hairstyle to having three different hairstyles and you don't have to take them out within two to three weeks. Now you can spread these three different hairstyles out over the course of two to three months. By the time you take them out and wash them, you see that hair growth. What I need for you guys to do, drop a like if you haven't already liked, subscribe if you aren't yet subscribed, comment your favorite hairstyles, and also let me know how long you guys leave your hairstyles in. I would love to know what you all find helpful in your growth as far as how long you leave your hairstyles in. I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure y'all grab my merch, thevintageparadise.com. Everything is additional 25% off right now. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm gone.